Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Rob Fleming. I'm the director of the MS in Sustainable Design program at Philadelphia University. And today I'm going to be going over some of the information about the online MSSD program. I'm going to be doing a brief overview of the program. I'm going to look at the course sequence and I'm going to share a few details about each of the courses. So let's get started. One of the great things about the MSSD program and the online version is that it starts in the fall, spring, or summer, which gives students a lot of flexibility in planning their lives around starting this degree. Each course lasts eight weeks, and you only take one course at a time. And the beauty of that is if you're working, it allows you to maintain some sanity in your life. The other great thing about the online program is that all of the courses come directly from the award-winning on-campus MSSD program. So this online program builds on six years of uh, success on campus and bringing the great curriculum that we have to the online environment. So going through the course sequence, the first year, semester one, the first course you would be taking is Sustainable Design Methodologies, where we go through the theories and origins of sustainability itself and then talk about the way that that's applied into the built environment through lead rating system, through charrette facilitation, through energy modeling, all the kind of basic strategies that we use to pursue green buildings. And then we have our first studio course, which is called Adaptive Design, which explores the intersection between climate, human comfort, and energy. And it does so at three scales. So first you do a project at the scale of the human being, then you look at a building scale, and then you look at a neighborhood scale. In the second semester, we have our Green Materials course, which looks at the quantitative aspects of life cycle assessment and also looks at the properties of materials in depth. So rather than just saying, here's how to pick a green material, we go a lot deeper than that to try to understand the properties of the materials and how they impact the environment. And then we move into Sustainable Systems, which is a quantitatively driven course that looks at the sizing of PV arrays, base energy, building loads, stormwater calculations, and daylight calculations. So um, giving students the skill sets that they need to be successful in this industry. Semester three, Development of Sustainable Buildings, takes a look at the process from a non-design point of view. How do you manage the whole process? In fact, we go through lead for existing buildings in this course. We look at financing, insurance, codes, all of the different aspects that would be needed to un be understood to pursue a development. And lastly, in the first year, we have our building information modeling course. We're using Revit to visualize sustainable design projects and to understand their environmental and energy impacts. In year two, semester four, we start off with our Sustainable Design Studio One, which is our integrative transdisciplinary design studio. We, we really don't care that much about what backgrounds you have. We want everybody to participate in the project as equals and bring their specific skill sets, but also allow the opportunity to develop new skill sets. So if you're an interior designer, we don't force you to work on the interior design of the building, and that goes for true across all the professions and disciplines. The other thing that I should mention is that lots of design firms now are designing projects all over the world using online software to communicate and share information and so this studio is based in large part around a lot of the strategies that um, professional design firms are using to work across the internet to get projects built. The second studio is more independently focused and allows you to apply the building visualization skills that you learned in the previous semester to the design project that was created by the team. And then we get into our nine credit thesis sequence, which is a very unique aspect of our project. Sustainability is a very broad and interesting topic, and students need to find their own pathways to success, either by augmenting their existing skill sets and knowledge base to excel in their firms, or to go through and begin to start a new career. So thesis one looks at topic generation and research methods. Thesis two looks at inquiry framing and research and analysis. And again, these are independently driven topics that we support. And then the last semester, thesis three, we get into depth, mastery, communication, and evaluation. And that's where we get your thesis ready to be shown to the public. So that is the course sequence. Um, and we're pretty proud of the sequence of courses, which is really very different than maybe some of the other programs out there, which has more of a menu-based option. Um, which we th feel that this situation is a lot more holistic and interconnected. And so I want to thank you for uh, tuning in to this presentation and uh, please browse the website further for more information.